Hi everyone, I'm Ken Woods. In my time as conductor of the English Symphony Orchestra, I've had so many unforgettable, amazing, unbelievable musical adventures with these great musicians. And amongst the many, many highlights, our work with our composer laureate Philip Sawyers has got to be amongst the very top of the top. It's been just the most incredible partnership starting with the premiere of his third symphony in 2017, which marked the beginning of our 21st century symphony project, through his concertos for violin, with Sasha Sitkovetsky for trumpet, with Simon de Brule, his double concerto for Maya Bogdanovich and Daniel Rowland, his viola concerto for Daniel Rowland, his octet, his remembrance for strings. It's just been an incredible journey of one wonderful piece after another. And the reactions we've had at the premieres of these uh, works has been so uplifting and encouraging. We all know that uh, new music is not necessarily always love at first sight with classical audiences, but with Philip it really has been. And to see the response to this emerging new body of work from listeners in London and Manchester and Hereford and Worcester and Malvern has been so gratifying. And I'm now excited to say that we've got another big Sawyer's premiere to look forward to this coming week. In 2019, the city of Worcester commissioned a new work from Philip in celebration of the 400th anniversary of the sailing of the ship Mayflower to America. The work was to be performed by the English Symphony Orchestra and a hand-picked choir of young people from state schools around the region under the direction of Neil Ferris. Everything was going incredibly well. Rehearsals were nearly complete, and we were in the final preparations for the premiere of this wonderful new hour-long oratorio when COVID struck. And this is one of many, many pieces that very nearly disappeared into the void of those painful lost months and years. We fought tooth and nail to save as many of those projects as possible. This is one of the biggest and it's taking, I have to say, a big fight, but we're finally there. And I'm so excited to be seeing this work come to life this week with the ESO in Worcester Cathedral with a wonderful hand-picked professional choir standing in for the youngsters of 2020, Thomas Humphreys, baritone soloist, April Frederick, soprano soloist. It's an amazing work full of feeling, passion, empathy, adventure, uh, it really uh, celebrates and explores an important moment in British and world history uh, from all perspectives. And I think it's going to be a really incredible occasion. We're pairing it with Dvorak's beloved New World Symphony, one of my favorite works, and a very apt coupling. After all, this was a result of Dvorak's own journey to the New World. Uh, his exploration of American music, in particular African American music and Native American music, and how those traditions could enrich the tradition of the symphony. It's going to be a great, great concert. Information is available on our website, eso.co.uk. It's Saturday, the 17th of June at 7.30 p.m. in Worcester Cathedral. Don't miss it.